Gute Kaffee. Today we're gonna make this the ultimate scallion pancake. Scallion pancake for Taiwanese people is like chicken salad, fried chicken for Americans in the South. You find it everywhere and everyone is always on the search for the best scallion pancake. And today I've tried many many recipes, I've tried kneading so many doughs and I'm bringing you this ultimate scallion pancake. It's gonna be the best one you've ever had. Let's get started. The ingredients for the dough is pork fat, scallion, salt, all-purpose flour, chicken broth, and some cold water. Right away, I'm gonna share with you my first pebble. Putting the pork fat, or you can use any oil, it's just traditionally we use pork fat, and I wanna stick with the tradition today, but you can use any oil. So we're gonna put this in the chicken broth and microwave it for one and a half minutes to make it super hot. Now the chicken broth is all hot and ready. We're gonna put in some salt in the flour. Give it a good stir. Before we pour in this chicken broth, I'm gonna give you another kitchen wisdom. We're gonna grab yourself a mat and put it underneath the bowl so when you're stirring, it's not gonna move around. Now we're ready to pour in the hot broth. This is not enough liquid for this flour. We're gonna add in more water later, but we're gonna have them absorb as much water as possible first. Now you see the doughs are all flaky. This is just right. We need a little more water. Again, slowly adding water once a little bit at a time. Now that the temperature is warm to touch, so you can kind of feel the dough a little bit. If it's dry or wet, it's pretty wet but it's not sticky yet, so I think I can put in a little bit more water. We don't see any dry flour anymore, even though it's still flaky, but there's not much dry flour left. This is when you know that you have enough water. And we're gonna put this in to the mixer. If you don't have a mixer, you can totally knead your dough on your own. This is not a hard dough to knead. It takes you probably five minutes to knead them. Now we just have to put it on stir and let it stir for two to three minutes. After two to three minutes stirring, you can see that there's no crumbs, no flakes underneath the bowl. Everything's picked up and become a big dough. This is when you turn it up a little bit to two for another three minutes. Now that you see the dough is smooth and soft and it's not sticky outside, it's ready. And you see it's not sticking the bowl at all. You know this is a really good dough when it's soft and smooth and it's not sticky. And because I use a lot of oil in the dough, so see, you don't even need flour and it's not gonna stick to the surface. Okay, I'm gonna give it a little knead to form a round shape. Oh, soothing. I love this feeling. All right, instead of using powder on top of it, we're gonna seal it with pork fat or the oil that you used earlier. You probably definitely have some in the bowl anyway, so you just kind of rub it on top of this dough. We rub this oil on top of this dough to keep it from drying when we're resting it. You need to rest it for at least two hours. If you can rest it overnight, it will be even better. You can leave it in the fridge for overnight or leave it outside for up to five hours. The longer you let it rest, the better it's gonna become. Put it in the bowl and cover it up and let it rest. Good night, dough. While the dough is resting, we're just gonna prepare our green onions. With one pancake that you wanna make, you need one to one and a half green onions. It depends on how much you like the green onions and also depends on how big or how small the green onions are. And now, we're gonna separate the white and the green. The white part of the green onion 
is my second pebble for you. I'm gonna use that to make this scallion infused shortening to make your pancake flaky and full of green onions flavor. To make sure that release the green onion flavor into the oil, we're gonna cut them lengthwise so they're all open up when we put them into the oil. Now we're gonna take care of the green part. So we're gonna cut them lengthwise several times. This shortening is gonna kick up another notch for your scallion pancake. Only happens in this cha-cha's queendom. So watch carefully how we make it. We're gonna turn up the heat, put in the oil or pork fat. If you're using normal oil, you can just put the green onions and the white part in now while it's cold. But because I use pork fat, I need to let it melt a little bit. But I don't want it to get too hot because the green onion will go in and get burnt. It has no chance to release that yummy flavor. Okay, now it's all dissolved. I'm just gonna put it in. You see, I'm trying to be away from the stove. Low heat, you need to give it time to release that juice, that yumminess. This is when you need to be patient. Patient, 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 always. Slowly cook it until it's burnt, dark brown looking. It's just gonna taste so good. Flaky, fragrant, the ultimate, the Guifu style. It's ready. The smell will tell you too. It just smells so good. Oh, look at these. Now we took the green onions out. We're gonna turn the heat up again to medium. We wanna make sure the oil is real hot. And meanwhile, I'm gonna season this flour here with some salt. Now that it's smoking, it's really hot. We're gonna pour it into the flour and make it the shortening. And it's really hot, so be really careful. And oh my God, it smells so good. Our shortening is done. I think the dough had enough rest and we're gonna take it out and have it work. Let's open it up. Ooh, look at this, it's so soft. Like, that means they're, it has a really good rest. I need it a little bit. After we roll it to this long shape, we're gonna cut it into four. Now most people like to use flour to coat it so it doesn't stick. I like to use oil because when you keep doing flour on top of it, the chances you're gonna make it harder and harder because you kind of ruin the water and flour proportion that we did at the beginning. So once you get the dough the way you like, how soft it is, I don't want to put in more flour on top of it. Now we're just gonna cover it up so it doesn't dry out and we're gonna clean up the surface so we have some room to roll. All right, let's roll the dough, the fun part. Take one out, give it a good press. Right now, what we wanna do is we wanna roll it into this oval shape. And notice, I didn't sprinkle any flowers because I have oil to protect these doughs. It doesn't matter if it's a perfect shape, it's pretty or not, the most important thing is getting it thin, as thin as possible. Now, it's thin, it's ugly, no worries. I'm gonna make it pretty. Okay, remember our scallion infused shortening? Spread it on top of the dough. And remember, everywhere but not the two sides of it and the end that is far away from you, you keep a little uh, empty spot over there. And now we're gonna sprinkle some salt on top of it. A lot of Taiwanese people, Chinese people, we eat this with soy sauce or sauce, any dipping. So if you will do that, you don't have to make it super salty. But if you like to eat it as it is, you wanna give a little more salt. And then the scallion. However much, is depends on how you like it. The next step is you're gonna scroll it. Here is my pebble number three. When you scroll it, you gotta make sure you give it a good massage. The better you do this, later on, the rounder, the easier it is for you to roll. Keep rolling tight and Squeeze the air out towards the side. And then you can kind of pull a little bit, lift up, lift up and pull a little bit. And keep going. And just massage, massage. Make sure there's 
no air in there. Squeeze, 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 give it a massage. It's gonna pay you back when it's eating time. And in the end, we're gonna squeeze it. Oh, I love this part. Next part, we're gonna roll it like a cinema. Roll it inward like this, kind of like a cinema roll. And then you wanna hide the tail and give it a good push. Now we're ready to roll them into a pancake shape. Give it a good press. How thick or how thin you wanna roll it, it's all up to your preference. And what if you can't roll it to perfect round? Totally fine, because in life, you just need some imperfection to make it perfect. That just means you're handmade. Let's make the pancake. Turn the heat up to medium. Add in some oil. Not much, just a tiny bit. Throw this pancake in. Most people fry their pancake like this, but I cover it with a lid. Because then you create some steam and it will make it soft inside and crispy outside. I know, I'm so smart. It's, it's okay. Now through the lid, you will be able to see that there is actually the air pocket inside the pancake is foamy. That's creating layer and that's also thanks to this steam thing going on that is gonna make it flaky and soft. Let's see if it's ready to flip. Beautiful. I can just tell it's gonna be so crispy outside. I'm gonna cover this up real quick. Oh, I can't wait to give it a try. Of course, you can cut it into this beautiful shape and all that, but this is so good. We just dig in with our fingers like this. All these layers. It's so crunchy outside. Mm. It's like all over every bite, every chew, you get this scallion flavor in there. It's just so intense and so good. And I think because of the chicken broth, the flavor is just not the ordinary scallion pancake. It's just so good. Mm, this is just too good. I can't even talk right now. But I really think that you need to get this, the ultimate scallion pancake to try. watching you like me that's good just click like and subscribe for more amazing content and check out my website at chachasqueendon.com thank you